good morning students welcome back in chemistry class today you will study about the formation of ionic compounds in part 8 of metals and non metals let's see what are the ionic compound so ionic compounds are the compounds which are formed after the reaction of metals and non metals you know that uh, sodium is metal here and this chlorine is non metal when these two react they form sodium chloride that is nacl so why are they called ionic compounds because you know that sodium has one electron in the outermost shell if you see the configuration of sodium it has atomic number 11 and its configuration is 2 8 and 1 this is the electronic configuration of sodium so this one electron it has this is a one electron in the outermost shell means its shell is not complete so it either it will gain seven electron to complete the octet you know that octet is completed when it has eight electrons a valence shell that is the outermost shell has eight electrons it is said to be the complete shell or the complete octet or complete valence shell it happens in case of the inert gases inert gases you know inert gases have eight electrons in the outermost shell but if we'll see the metals or the non metals they have less than eight electrons in the outermost shell metals generally have one two or three electrons in the outermost shell whereas non metal have six four five six or seven electrons in the outermost shell if you see this chlorine it has seven electron in the outermost shell two then eight and then seven it this is configuration two eight seven so what is this configuration you know that uh, configuration mean what is the electron atomic number of the element so atomic number is equal to number of protons as well as number of electrons as you know about so these electrons are distributed in the different shells in first shell the two electrons are there in second shell eight electrons are there and in the last shell one electron is there so this sodium it has to lose this one electron to have the complete octet that is 8 so it will lose one electron how it will lose one electron it will give the electron to this chlorine atom because you know that chlorine has seven electron in the outermost shell so for fulfilling this shell it needs single electron which will be given by sodium sodium gives one electron to chlorine you can see here this is the transfer happens like this as you can see this arrow so this electron will come to chlorine and then this sodium becomes positive charge as you can see here this is positive charge so the configuration will be now 28 and this chlorine has negative charge as you can see 2 8 and 8 it has in outermost shell 8 electron now right so in this way you can see the configuration of the elements uh, is there and why do they have the charges now you know the number of protons and number of electrons equal here in case of the reactants so this is neutral in nature but as it loses one electron the sodium atom when loses one electron it becomes positive charge because the number of electron is one less here than the number of protons in case of chlorine also you can see one electron is extra here than that of the protons number of protons is still is 17 and number of electrons is now 18 so that is why it has one negative charge how many number of the protons are less or more that much charge will be on the element as you can see here one proton is extra one positive charge one electron is extra one negative charge see some let's see some more examples here 
this is magnesium chloride the formula for magnesium chloride is mg cl2 if you see the formula it is mg then c and l2 this is the formula of magnesium chloride means if you try to understand it is one atom of magnesium reacts with two atoms of chlorine to form magnesium chloride right so how it is done how only one electron atom of magnesium re reacts with two atoms of chlorine you can see here because this magnesium has to lose two electrons these are the two electrons here you can see one and one two why because it has in outermost shell two electrons its configuration is two eight and two so it will lose two electrons to complete it octet so where it will lose two electrons these two electrons will be received by two chlorine atoms one will be by one chlorine atom and other one will be by another chlorine atom as the electronic configuration of chlorine you know it is 2 8 and 7 right so this is the configuration and you know that uh, non metal and metal reacts to complete their octet to form the ionic compound such kind of compounds which are formed having the charge on it are known as ionic compound so when it will lose two electron it becomes two positive charge because the number of protons is more here by two because the number of proton is still 12 and number of electron becomes 10 you can see the configuration is now only 2 and 8 the last shell is now not here so two electrons are less here because positive charge is more by two here so that is why it is having two positive charge as far as chlorine atom is concerned it has one negative charge on both the side it has one negative charge you can see this atom also has one negative charge and this atom also has one negative charge and its configuration is now two then eight and eight so in this way you can see because one electron is extra here that is why the charge is one extra here right and that is a negative charge because electron is negatively charged particles so you have to understand this how the electrons transfer takes place in formation of the ionic compound and these compounds are known as ionic compounds because these have ions why these are neutral here because here the number of protons and number of electrons is equal here they have charge because the change in number of electrons and number of protons the positively charged ion as you can see here magnesium is positively charged ion it is known as cation whereas the negatively charged ions are known as anion let's see the sodium fluoride the formation of sodium fluoride name of the compound is sodium fluoride and the formula is naf it is just like same if you say sodium chloride it is from the same family fluorine chlorine bromine iodine these all are from the same family that is the halogen family so if you see the formation of the compound this is sodium it has one electron in the outermost shell you can see this is the one electron in the outermost shell and the configuration is again you can write 2 then 8 and then in the outermost shell it is 1 right and it has configuration 2 then 8 sorry 2 and 7 because its configuration is 2 and 7 because the number of uh, proton and number of electron is 9 here so it is 2 and 7 only right in chlorine it is 287 in case of fluorine it is 2 and 7 only so this is now you can see this has the one electron extra and it has one electron less so what reaction will take place that this electron will be transferred to this fluorine you can see the electron of sodium which is in the outermost shell is transferred to fluorine and now fluorine becomes negatively charge because it has now one electron extra than the proton 
and sodium becomes negative uh, positively charged because it has one proton extra than the electrons so in such a way these ionic compounds are formed now one more reaction we'll see see this is the magnesium oxide how the magnesium oxide formation takes place here you can see magnesium its configuration is 282 as we have seen in case of the magnesium chloride so it will give its two electrons to oxygen atom one oxygen atom because you know that oxygen has the configuration 2 and 6 its atomic number is 8 only so in its outermost shell there are six electron so the two electrons of magnesium which is it has in the outermost shell will be received will be gained by the oxygen atom you can see here this transfer of electrons takes place like this this is one electron of oxygen as one electron of magnesium given to oxygen and another electron of magnesium given to oxygen now you can see here that magnesium becomes positively charged because it has two more protons than the electrons that is why it is positively charged now oxygen becomes two negative charged this number also remember how it comes because it has now two more electrons than the protons and its configuration is now 2 and 8 so the formula is mgo which you can see here so in this way students practice the formation of these ionic compounds watch the video carefully try to understand how these electron dot structures are made these electron dot structures are important these come in the examination so please practice a lot do practice of some more compounds formation thank you